stop harassing him. Oh. With three new fun films to choose from this weekend, there's no way people just went and saw Infinity War again, right? Oh, that's ex oh, that's exactly what they did. Yeah, me too. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. Holding on to the number one spot this week with a rock solid $100 million lead is Avengers Infinity War, bringing in an estimated $112 million in its sophomore weekend. That's about as good of a haul as you can ask for with a film that literally had the best opening of all time. Along with this fantastic showing during its second week out, Infinity War stole another record from a galaxy far, far away. In 2015, Star Wars Episode 7 reached a billion dollars in worldwide ticket sales just 12 days after its release, making it the fastest film to reach that milestone. On Saturday, Marvel's Infinity War beat that record by crossing the billion dollar mark just 11 days after its box office release. Either way, Disney holds the title and has all the money. Infinity War has brought in more than $700 million at the foreign box office, pushing the worldwide total past 1.1 billion. And again, this is all without China, the second largest movie market in the world. Oh, and for those of you keeping score, this is Marvel's sixth film to hit a billion dollars and the second MCU film to do so just this year. And with that, on to number two. I have an idea that is poetic in its justice. I'm here to pick up my husband. You're really my wife? For better or worse, baby. The only new film to enter the top three this week is Overboard, earning about $14.8 million in its first week out. Fortunately, this was a fairly cheap film to make, only costing about $12 million. Of course I know my name. It's... it's... Annie! This latest film is a remake of the 1987 original, which wasn't groundbreaking by any means, but people enjoyed it. The problem with the 2018 version, though, is it doesn't feel like it's for 2018. This feels like an 80s movie. Like, this doesn't feel like they've, aside from a couple of jokes here and there, like they haven't really updated it. This could still take place in the 80s in terms right. of the tone of it, like a wacky, broad 80s sitcom -y comedy. That said, this rom com isn't really depending on critics' approval for success, which makes the 30% Rotten Tomato score less of an issue. Falling to third place this week and showing incredible staying power is A Quiet Place, bringing in an estimated $7.6 million in its fifth week out. As for next week, oh, Melissa, how we've missed you. 